Hello, 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 beloved. Welcome back to my channel. It's your Mystic Journeys Divine coming to you on this Monday. High energetic day. At least that's how I feel. <laughs> boost of energy, a boost of positivity, a boost of abundance in the air. As I said that, the wind blew through my window over there. <laughs> And it smells so fresh, so clean. It smells like snow. But I don't think we're predicted to get any. But it sure smells like it on the East Coast. How's your day going, beloved? Messages are being channeled through. Mm. Excuse me. I felt like something actually flew into me and went down my throat. Mm, that was weird. Excuse me. Ugh. What was I saying? Oh my God. I got I lost my chain of thought. Oh. We're not predicted to get snow, I believe, here in the East Coast, but it sure smells like snow in there. Anyway, it's Monday. Oh, messages. Thank you, Spirit. Messages are being channeled through me like crazy today. Well, since last night. Because I had some lucid dreams. Anyway, I'm not sharing that <laughs> at this moment. But, um, I got a whole lot of energy in my home. This card wanted to pop out, so I'm going to read it. I ain't finished shuffling, but it popped out. Somebody's getting married. Do we have a spring wedding on deck? Valentine's Day wedding. Mother's Day wedding. So we have a baby coming. You're 92 people eternally. Whether you're married or not, once that baby comes between y'all, that shit DNA, that's forever. <laughs> Whether you're together or not. So I see unions. I see relationships growing, prospering into marriage, into longevity. I see newness. If you've been seeking a loyal relationship, one that will last for the rest of your days, however you are, 40s, 50s, 30s, sometimes the 20s, not sure about longevity, so, you know, 60s, mamas, queens. I see it coming in. I see spirits saying, you earned it, mama. It's time. Whatever your preference is, I see unions. And these unions are not twin flames. I see stone marriage connections. Soulmate connections. I said stone marriage. Okay. Another card that popped out. Karma has been served. So if you were in a connection with someone previous to this moment and they walked away, they cheated, you walked away, you cheated, take your residence. Either way, you're not together. Karma has been served. The contract has been destroyed. You are now given the free will and ability through spirit to dive into new relationship. You've earned it. This one will be a soulmate connection. You can trust it. That is from spirit. You asked for it. Okay, that car fell out. I put it back before, but it fell out again. 
something is going to happen in August. Either you're getting married in August, summer wedding, maybe Labor Day. And I'm speaking to a Leo or Virgo. You're marrying a Leo or Virgo, or you're about to get in a relationship with a Leo or Virgo. We see the word hurt came out. You were hurt deeply. Your heart was broken. You may have not even wanted to leave what you had to leave recently or was left. And you went through a lot of healing and you may still be healing. But you're healing intentionally to move on to better, to your best. And Spirit says, use that hurt for ammunition to fuel Fuel the energy of your next passion relationship. Don't let the hurt make you bitter or too cautious or too questioning or too paranoid. Okay, spirit, that's a lot. The hurt was not meant to be punishment. It was hurt to teach you to wake you up, to move you, to protect you. It was going nowhere for either one of you, actually. Because Twin Flames, which I know you were in. June. Cancer energy. May you get married in June. Another summer wedding. I don't know, maybe is your name June? Fire sign. Then I tell you, fire. That fire came out with that Leo energy. June. June is Cancer and who? Is Gemini in June? Well, fire, we see Leo. You could be a fire sign, Leo, in the Aries. What is that? Leo is it Aries Sagittarius? I always get the third fire sign. I believe it's Sagittarius. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay. You're getting married. You're getting a new relationship. You walked away. They walked away from you. Mm, I get a lot. These are blanks coming my planes come up on for support green financial support financial support is coming in maybe from a leo aries sagittarius cancer support may be because you're marrying into money this is karma Maybe you've gone without most of your life or you've taken care of others and given more than you received because you're an empath and, and spirit's gifting you with someone who will now take care of you and support you financially. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> yes. But you asked for support. You've been praying for support. Support is coming. Support is coming. Growth again, green growth money. Your money is growing, your money is going to grow, your creativity is going to grow, opportunities are going to open their opportunities, are going to make themselves available to you. Confirmation new, new love is pink, new love, new cups, hearts, relationships. Business partnerships, companions, marriage, <laughs> a new love, a new bestie. I just saw two women, so once I'm, talk I'm talking to someone, same sex, female. Mm. Okay, I see you.
gifted green gifted you're about to receive a gift you're going to be gifted by the universe by a person by a parent a raise on your job i get a helicopter travel you may be someone may be asking you to travel with them to go away with them spirit says yellow gold you need this you need this to bring back that passion that flame that confidence in yourself that desire energy to know that you are desired and you are enough you may be feeling low self-esteem about yourself not being able to get a partner keep a partner spirit saying you're beautiful beloved inside and out and you're only feeling that way because your old self that demon energy that low vibrational self wants to keep you in the smut it doesn't want to see you get your king of queen emperor empress your queen of cups your king of cups your abundance or maybe someone in the energy doesn't want you receiving new love someone that talked down about you about the way you looked your weight your skin color your complexion your hair size height whatever nationality Someone that put you down that you were in a relationship with that made you feel lower so they could always stay upper. It wasn't you, it was them. You see that? Green, new home. You're manifesting a relocation. You got a deity spirit. Purple for spirit. You got a deity. An Orisha head. A god of goddess. Someone. That is helping you, assisting you, manifesting your money, your finance, your abundance. They're getting your new home ready. They're getting your new home ready, your new property, your new land. After experiencing hell moments, they brought you way down. Spirit saying, when this newness comes in, this new home, these contracts, you need to get a lawyer. You need to get more information. You're not equipped for the lingo that they're going to put out in order for their stability to be long term. You're going to need to get someone who can help you get more information on what you're signing. You may be moving in July. Maybe moving in the summer. You may be born in July. Why am I not getting the July? You might be one July. <laughs> the person you're with might be born in July. The person you're about to be with might be born in July. Whatever sort they sign that is. Spirit says, as far as money and finances, reach higher, aim higher. Don't think so small. You can have it all, beloved. It doesn't make you vain someone better. It doesn't make you greedy to want best that is meant for you. Ask for it. Reach higher. Change that um, vision board. Add some new shit to you. Add somebody got an aggressive ancestor. Add some new things to it. Reach a little higher. Upgrade that home. Add a new car. What's out now? Maybe it was made a year or two ago. Maybe you need to upgrade your vision board, your journal. Reach higher, Spirit says, because what we have is better than that, that you are thinking. And to manifest more, we need you to vibrate higher so you can get what we want you to have. Golds forgive. Give up your energy. Give up your time. Babysit. Watch someone's kids. Walk someone's door. Buy someone groceries. Give a homeless person a dollar. Donate some old clothes. You know those water bottles and soda bottles we always throw in the garbage with the nickel returns on it? 
because our kids are not going in either. We pack them up and leave them in the hallway or I'll buy the garbage and give it away with the norm it. my ancestors bless you. Stop throwing away your blessings. Donate those old books to a school. Summer's coming. Boys and Girls Club could use some balls, jump ropes, band-aids, tissue. Ask them for a donation slip. You can put on your taxes. They have them. It's time to give, Spirit said. We know what you want to receive. Tell your spirit of lack. Stay out of your spirit of lack. You have more than you know. And everything you need is on the way. But to receive it, you got to believe it. So get out of your mindset of lack that you don't have and you'll never have. And you can do that simply by giving what you do. Giving leaves room to be something to be replaced. And more of it. And it shows that I know that I will receive that which I give. And it will be replaced tenfold. Getting that mindset and that energy. Anything else, spirit? Anything else for our collective? For our watchers, for our viewers, for my bosses, for my kings and queens? It just says walk the talk. I don't know what that means for you, but you just earn. Whatever it is that you talk about, be about. Don't just preach it and not live it. If you're not an example of what you're speaking, it won't grow. People don't gravitate to what they see as a scam or for financial gain alone. Put some energy, some love in it and walk for us talk. Walk the talk. Everything in this reading is about you. Change your energy, getting to a system of love and gratitude, picking up your boo strings, letting the old go, and knowing that it was meant to serve you well. Marriage, unity, love flowing, connections, bonding, going out and sharing yourself with others, getting what you deserve a new home, apply green. Apply for that new job. Apply for that new job. That's a one-way um, story. Car right there. Apply for that job. Spirit said, now is the time. Why are you in the manifestation season? <laughs> Come on now, Spirit. And you are stronger than you know. And strength is with you. Apply, apply, apply. Yourself. Apply yourself to that creativity and erecting that business or that line of credit or that new love coming in. You got to apply yourself to receive it. Be in a receiving mode. Be loving. Be caring. Be open. Don't be vulnerable. Be wise. Be discerning. But be open. Nobody wants to have to chop down your wall or bust down your door to get in. There's too many people out there for us to spend that energy on one person. So, don't be that cocky. Let them in. Let them in. Use your discernment. Because we know there's, when you have vibrating high, beloveds, we know that we predators are hungry us and they come in they can find us don't let them all in use your discernment enjoy yourself let go of the anger resentment bitterness of that old love that didn't work let it go beloved let it go okay i felt some of that calling me I could actually hear a whisper in my ear. It was weird. No, don't let you know. I get a lot of whisper in my ear <laughs> these days. And it's weird. But I love it. 
let go of the anger, beloved. Spring is about to blossom. Butterflies are about to fly. Ladybugs are about to... Curl, I love them. Get out in the sun and lay in the grass and enjoy the new, fresh smell of roses and the orchids, my favorite. And nature all around. I can't wait to go by the water. Speak to Aya. Some of my deities. My water spirits. My mothers. The water is a giant womb. The ocean. The oceans are nothing but a giant womb. Within them, they hold life and creation. So when the animals grow in the water of the womb of the woman, as well as the water of the earth, signs and synchronicities. Women, women to flow, adapt, change things. Move lands if necessary with our simple energetic flow. Get in it, divine family. Get in it. Move, get in your movements. Water crazy diamonds, pearls, gems, beauty. Okay. Okay, spirit. Do we have anything else to say to so our watchers, my beloveds, my divine ones, my subscribers? Did you subscribe? Have you subscribed to this channel? We have fun here. We love here. We positive. We stay high vibrational here. We have our down days. We're human. We ain't. But we pull it together. All right, beloved. The anger is in you. The anger is the love connection. Someone you left behind is saying you better unblock them. They pissed off. They see you getting ready to come into this new marriage. They ain't trying to have it. Spirit is telling you, speak up. If they come anywhere near you, they try to do anything to change you or distract you or delay you from receiving what was yours. Speak up. You have a voice now. Because it's way too risky. Get back with this old love. This old energy. This anger energy in the reading. That was not yours. It belongs to an ex. Whoever brought about that tower moment that we saw in your life. That fire sign or that fire energy of the tower burning down. Where karma needed to be served by the universal source because someone was hurt unjustly. And it could have been a marriage between two people. It could have been actual marriage. Infidelity. And because you survived. And you're a child of. Berisha Ifa. African American descent. We are deities. We have good juju. Good juju. I'm seeing the voodoo queen of New Orleans on board. Good juju. Yes. I call to her. We friends. We friends. Because you went high when they went low. Stability will now come into your finances. Into your love. Into your self-esteem. Your courage. Your confidence. Communicate, I say communicate more with spirit. 
communicate more with the outside world so this new love can find you. It's looking. It's looking for you. You got to get out and communicate. It may be coming to you through... Old love, new love. Somebody loves you. Still. Now. Again. Because... <laughs> You know what it is, do you? There who it is. That's who it is. That's who it is. You have a Amira, a stalker. Someone is in love with you, Queen King. Someone admires your strength, your perseverance, your self confidence. Your courage, all the stuff I mentioned. They see you as a boss. Everything. And they want to get with you. They want to marry you. They want to take this long term. Support you. Bring stability into your lives. They're applying for the job. They're applying for the job. If they need you, they saying you need them. Mm. Acting an aggressive divine masculine, but a gentle giant is who I'm seeing. His bark is way bigger than his bite. He may be a fire sign. He may be a cancer. Aries. Aquarius. Leo. Sag Sagittarius. Jim Nike is popping in so my head, although, so I'm going to call it. One more call, Spirit. One more call for this channel message. And the final card for the message is it's being orchestrated. Okay. I know I look weird from it, but I smell smoke burning. And I don't have anything burning or anyone else here. And often I pick up scents. They're not actually there, but are there. And they alerted me. I was talking about a fire sign. And the smoke. They, they don't want your smoke. They don't want no smoke. Whoever this ex is or whoever's mad and angry about you moving on, they don't want no smoke. They may think they do, but they don't want no smoke. That's what Spirit is saying. That's why I smell smoke. Somebody wants to smoke with you. They want to throw hands. They pissed off. Better, at least if you, they don't care if you angry or not, as long as they get to speak to you. Don't do it. Don't lower yourself. Stay in your energy. Move on to this new looking for you. Prepare for that. You deserve that. That takes your focus. Okay? Beautiful. Mmm. Smoke is bothering me. I'm going to have to shake it out. Thank you for staying for this message again. Beloved, as I always do, I am appreciative of you. And all you do to support me in my channel, check out my Oracle cards I designed and are on sale on my website below. Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, weddings, proms, anniversaries, just because for your family. Attached to a candle, flower, some bath and body oil. I love pop it. A gift like you never given before. Change it up this year. Give them something new. Some affirmation, self-love. Love thyself. Cards. But you are headed in the right direction of love. It is to the new. And if you're headed to new, that's where you should be going. 
There's love waiting for you. And with that love comes everything else you desire. That love will bring in the abundance of everything else in every other area of your life. All in one flash. If you accept it. Cultivate it. Appreciate it. Give gratitude for it. Nurture it. Energize it. Give to it. And receive what you need from it. Stop being used, use, beloved. Be useful, not used. Things that are used are eventually thrown away. What is useful will stay until the very last day. Yes. Yes. Like this video. Hit that like button. I'm waiting. You didn't hit it. Hit that like button, please. And thank you. <laughs> yes, as within, so without, as above, so below, heaven, earth can be yours. It's on its way as the waters of the womb just flow and bring forth new life and everything your way. You deliver it. You nourish it. You feed it. You grow it. You'll see. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful Monday. Give off positivity. Lay back. It's almost the end of the day. Enjoy that cup of tea. Chamomile, if you please. And until we meet again on this channel, with your mystic journey divine, <laughs> I love you, friend. Ashe.